Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with another Star Trek The Official Starships Collection by Eagle Moss. This time it's issue 157. It's the um, Cardassian freighter Grumal. Grumal? I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. Get it open. I don't like these being in bagged. I've got uh, folders anywhere that these mag magazines go into. Now, saw this, didn't actually notice anything specific about about the ship when he because i go on memory alpha memory dash alpha dot fandom dot com wiki and star trek official collections and it gives you so much detail about what is where and how and all this lot and this one i thought well it looked cardassian same color and that bit but i have no idea on it is it part of an episode is it part of I don't know. I don't fully remember. It has to be a Deep Space Nine. So let's keep the model to one side and let's have a look at the magazine, shall we? So, it's a freighter. It's launched in the 24th century, so yes. 256 metres long. It's got phases. thought there was supposed to be a freighter. Hmm. So why has it got phases if it's just a freighter? Right, this back section looks like it lights up. That would be nice. If they actually incorporated something like that. If they did incorporate stuff like that, a battery would have been nice. So. Hidden Disruptor. Yeah, but don't you think the Hidden Disruptor is quite visible? Hmm. <laughs> because that front end of here looks so much like the, um, the Klingons of the next gen era. So, the Grumal. Uh, incident involving the death of Cardassian and Bajoran representatives on Karma, Korma, on Korma, took place during the Klingon Cardassian War of 2372 to 73. Okay, I don't fully remember the episode, but it is there with the DS9 in the background. So maybe it'll come to me. So there's a few different shots. Hmm. There's daughter of Goldicott. Oh, okay. Now it's ringing a bell. I discovered that one of the crew had been Tara. Tora, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's nice to get different ships in here. Not just do all Federation, all Klingon, but I think we've got a couple, if not three, other Cardassians in the collection so far. Another one can't hurt, can it? Yeah, this feed. Let's have a look. Primary cargo section, cargo hold. So it's very much like the Klingon one we did the other, the other day. We've got cargo pods on there. There's a bridge right at the back. Massive impulse engine, I'll have a guess. Well, no, it's not. It's, it's in two sections. Okay, there and there. Then you've got starboard impulse engine. Starboard impulse engine. So their impulse and their warp, yes? No, their impulse. What? Pulse impulse engine, lower impulse engine. So they're all impulse engines. So where's the warp nacelles? Hmm. Maybe it's the wings. See, so I said those would be warp nacelles and these are the impulse but uh, who am I who am I indeed so oh, more pictures of the groomall groomall <laughs> so we're there for some reason becoming Klingon fr oh okay freighters and sons and daughters another Kardashian ship for the uniform with the in Voyager Sporting a new paint scheme, okay. So it was a blue one there. Okay, so it's been it's one of those ships that's been used many times in different guises. Which is nice. They do those sort of things. They do them a lot in, in next generation to be honest. 
series of storage containers. Hidden weaponry. Oh, that gives it away. And bridge. So each one of these top ones is a hidden weapon, maybe. And then clamp on the side. Johnny Eaves. Okay. So is this Johnny's design then? Yeah. Much prefer your Federation work, Mr. Eaves. But I'm looking forward to. Oh, I think the Ships of the Line calendar is coming out soon. I'm very looking forward to that. A review will be on this channel very soon. Anybody wanting to see any of the past Ships of the Line calendars? All you have to do is just search on my channel. They are all there. That's Demar. Demar die. Oh, but Dem hold on. I had Demar a Klingon. No, sorry. Klingon, you idiot. It looks different to what it normally does for some reason. Yeah, because he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> Ignore that one. Very much a recurring character. I quite liked him, to be honest, as a, as a character in, in Deep Space Nine. Didn't like Mark Alamo. Alamo? Al yeah. Because we'd seen him before a couple of times. I say three times, was it? In Next Generation, he played the Romulan. We saw at the end of Series 1, he played the first Cardassian we saw. And he also played... Oh, there was a guy at the poker table in Time's Arrow, Series 5 finale, and Data went back in time. I'm sure there were other characters he played, but not entirely sure. So, next one, 15A, is this. It's another concept. That's concept one. I thought we'd already had a concept for the Excelsior, unless it is Nilo Rodis. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that one wrong. Was the uh, one of the concept art for the Excelsior? It'd be nice to see, but I think there's actually three in total of these. One we've already seen, which is a really long, thin one. That one looks a lot more fatter, more built out, looking very much like the Grissom. But we'll, we'll see that soon enough. That'll be next time, maybe another month, because I get these every two, every two episodes per month. So, straight away, let's get onto the stand. 5632 A-A. So, still a first run, which is good. In he goes. Okay. First impressions. And second impressions. It's more like a, shall we say, a medical tool. just doesn't these wings on the back of here do absolutely nothing for it even if it's meant to be something to help get into atmosphere but it looks very much like the size and the shape of a Battlestar Galactica wing from the Vipers a lot less detail on but let's get a flyby where's the top there's the top da -da 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 -da. come on you know you want to focus come on there you go. So if that's a hidden weapon, it can't be a hidden weapon because hidden weapon is on the tops. There we go. Oh, if I could do editing properly, I'd, I'd make this carry on going past and carry on going past. Keep going that and that and that. Keep going there, 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 and then there, there, there. They make it look so it's so long, and like space balls. Space balls one. <laughs> A nice Cardassian logo on the on the back end there. And more pods. There's more to these pods, isn't there? More detail work on it. Nice detail on the centre section there. Little piping and stuff. Same colour. Could have tried to do a little bit more colour work on there. Row of light in there. The wrong lighting on top, so it's probably like there's two decks, top and bottom deck. What is that around the middle? 
Oh, look at that for a bad seam. That's shockingly bad. Actually, couldn't that just split in two? I just needed properly squashing in for what that did. Right, so this, se this section here looks like two circles, or is it one oval? I don't know. What is that meant to be? I don't know. See, there's not much to this to complain about or even say, but there's a. Ooh, well, we've seen that before somewhere. Is that the top of another ship we've had? Hmm, the wings. They're just weird. That, they're just wings, unless that back section can come off. No. I don't know, unless... I'm trying to give you a purpose of why you'd have the wings on there. Maybe this section that's built into here could possibly come down and fly off. Don't know. Look at the engines on the back. They look like they've been painted on. If I can ever get this in focus. There she goes. Yeah, they're, they're painted on. What are the yellow ones? Yeah, the, the, the port and starboard impulse. I was badly painted inside there as well. I'm missing a big blob off there. And this strange, hmm, in the middle. I don't know. In fact, why is one of those different colour? Have they missed? Hmm. Maybe that is the Cardassian way, you never know. I don't know why, but some some reason the camera on here is showing on the the, the screen is looking more green. And this is very sand coloured, normal Cardassian coloured. Mine just be my screen. Yeah, with a different colour on that one as well. What's that? Okay. Size wise. Yeah, it's not very wide, obviously, but it's a lot longer than the palm of my hand. Let's get it right way around. Won't actually stand up because it's on this section here. So it's kind of. Mm, it's okay. It's part of. It could be part of a of a fleet um, diorama or something. But I don't know. It won't stay on its top. But that's like, you can tell that it's that pincer thing. Actually, didn't didn't Cardassian ships have a curve on the front and on the back? That would be the back. So is this actually the front of the ship? Hmm. I got this completely wrong because all Kardashian ships have that on the back. The Kling, yeah, the Klingons had them as the front, but why would you have impulse engines on the back? It's got to be, this has to be the rear. So you get impulse, 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 possible warp with the blue bits. But why would Kardashians have blue warp engines? Mm, it's definitely that way around. Has to be that way around. And if I could do that as a fly pass without. Ah, see my fingers. I'd be quite impressed. But yeah, it's okay. I like it. It's, it's, it. I think it's more of a filler, to be honest, on the series. It's, it's a good one to have. It's probably one that somebody suggested. Maybe you can do that one, because we had an email around about, what, six months, eight months ago or something? What would you like to see? And we ah, suggested a few things, and maybe the, a constitution class or two with different names on it. I know we've had the... Oh, there was 1717 that they brought out as a special. There was the Glow in the Dark Defiant, and there's the original 1701. It'd be nice to see the Constellation. Is it Constellation? The one that was 17, oh, 1017, the one that was destroyed by the, by the Planet Killer. It'd be nice to see that one, but if you've got ships like this with, with 
pointer bits with stuff like you could possibly break off and choke on if you're a kid. Yes, it's fine because you can get away with doing the stuff like this. You can get away with doing a destroyed movie enterprise. You can get away with having a once 1017 constitution constellation. You can easily get away with that with the detail that you can put into one. So that's what was one of my suggestion sessions is to do something like that. We had we had originally, I think there was supposed to be 16 of the original starships, the Constitution class. There was like the Hood, Potemkin, and we saw about four, I think it was. Original series, you'd see the same model, which I think was Ultimate Computers, one, two, three, four. You'd just see the dubbed over it, but then they changed it for the, the redone version, the digital remastered versions, and you can actually see more of the ships, which is really, really nice for them to do. But give us more constitutions, give us more of what the ships we have already seen. We have seen this one, yes, but that was, like I said, that's my suggestion, what I thought they should have done to do with the series. They might do, they might not, they might give us a pack of four Enterprises. They've got the mould that they can do. They just change the numbers. I'd be happy with that. I'm sure a lot of the ardent Trekkies would definitely have that as well. More original Connies. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you don't like that, fine. If you do like it and it's, uh, it's inspired you to go out and, and buy one, go and buy one. Go in the shops. Go on Eagle Moss's website. I'm unaffiliated with Eagle Moss. They don't give me anything for free unless they do a, a wrong delivery or they send me stuff because it's already been broken so then you've got to mend one or you throw the other one in the bin but other than that enjoy Eagle Moss they're, they're, they're fine for what they are they're a good good bunch of people sometimes so thanks for watching I'll see you next video bye bye